on their on their GP. We went to so trained with it and the system is such that you have a doctor and they think they're next to god and people have taken on board what they say as being absolute and then to their horror and tragic results we, so, we see very clearly yeah so so our job i mean speaking from personal experience yeah, yeah, our yeah. family dealings okay so, so i'm just going to repeat within the re, you repeat what you say and, just for for, and, for the yeah. record so you're saying that this is this is has been so embedded in our culture. We are, you said, but we are treating Many. doctors as gods. Well, they, they, but we are allowing them to have that authority. Yeah, they cannot that. take authority if we're not giving it to well, them. It's, it's so it's battle. our it's our, our job. It is a battle. Yes. It is a battle. But I think a part of the battle is not to start the battle. Don't even go there. Don't even go there. When you go there, you're going to the wrong place. I mean, if I go to a, to, to a surgery, I don't expect them to read me the Rambam. I expect them to, to give me a prescription medicine. drug. And if, 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 if I have, um, just to, to enforce what I've just said, I had a friend who, tell, who told me that uh, she understands the risks of medication. She understood the Sorry. risk of... of um, of treating infection with antibiotics, but she did go to her uh, pediatric to ask about her baby. Uh, she had uh, some kind of infection. And she said, I came to you because I wanted to know what you have to offer me. And she said, I don't want antibiotics. And she said, so the doctor says, so why did you come? I said, because I want uh, something else. I want you. And she said, so why did you come? It wasn't clear because most of them, I'm not generalizing again, but most of them believe according to what they learned in medical school and some doctors are saying that out loud everywhere that they just share with us the secrets of what they are taught in medical schools in medical schools there is no prevention medicine there is no nutrition at all because doctors don't believe in nutrition they believe in drugs so this this is what they're learning so if you don't believe in drugs and you go into a physician so you're actually going against your religion <laughs> Don't go it's, there. It's very Don't go there. It's, it's very, it's, it's very. It's... So it's simple. That's why I'm here to teach you to learn you the basic, the basic rules of life, of health. You can apply it no matter how old you are, no matter what stage never you late. are. Never too late. Never too late. As long as you have life in your blood, oh. pumping, your heart is pumping, and you have the energy of life. Baruch Hashem. Oh, it's Hashem. never. And and another important thing to mention is there is no risk. There's no side effects to doing the right thing. No. There's no side effects of changing bad habits. There's, you can't hurt yourself exactly. in any way. Exactly. But you, can, you can harm yourself. So, so there's no risk. It can start anytime. And it, actually, it's cheaper. So I can't see why people don't jump on that. You see, many years ago, when I was told my blood pressure is too high, without knowing you and knowing I was young, I battled within myself and with the doctor. I said, Dr. So and so. I'm not keen to take tablets. The, I, it, it, intuitively, I didn't want mm. it. It's because they couldn't force me. And time went by, just give me a bit more time. And then we were going to Israel. And I said, maybe, I thought maybe the change traveling, we'd lost my father, we were going to do his mother's safe. I thought, and we were caring for my sick, our mother was not well already. And we, it was, we had a stressful moments in as much as she wasn't like she used to be, and we were her carers. Came back from Israel, he checked my blood. He said, Your blood pressure is still high. I said, You are, these were his words, you are risking a heart attack or a stroke. Mm -hmm. So when I heard that, I thought, the Lam, of course, what, it's out of my hands now. And I reluctantly, very reluctantly, if Toby was here, my sister, she would tell you, I, and I, I, and he wanted to put me on two kinds. I said, That I drew the line. As I'm only taking one, I compromise, and I thought, if I've got to live, I'll live. And I did stop eating salt. I didn't realise, and I wish I had the, the knowledge and the sense to have known the, the, the dangers of salt. Yeah. I'd have salt. I am just I asking mean, if, you want, if you want salt. to ask a question so I can answer you. Yeah. And, and do you have, yeah. want to ask something? What can I do now to, uh, to, to try to heal my body in such a way that I shouldn't, need to have 
medication, even at this stage of my life. Okay, so so I'm just repeating repeating the questions. Yeah. What can you? How can you treat hypertension? Yes, that's what you're asking. Yes, how yes. can you treat yeah, hypertension? Yeah, yeah, yes. So first, we need to. Well, it's not relevant to the shoe, but I'm going to answer yeah. your question. Um, first, you need to ask yourself, what is hypertension? Why? Why do you have hypertension? Before you start treating it, then you first the first question is why? What is it? What is hypertension? Well, the doctor didn't ask me that question. Okay, I know. You know I'm not expecting them because it, there's not. It's not their job. The we number. already we already you know that it's we already know the picture is completely distorted. So I'm not trying to fix the doctors mm -hmm. because it's talking to walls. Yeah. There's no point. I'm talking to you. Right, right, right. Okay, so you understand now what I mean? Again, because because. This is this is something that we attribute to them. This the godly uh, properties. It, we attribute these properties to them. Yeah, I suppose we are. Yeah. And so we still we still every time we want to do the right thing, we still they they pop, they pop in our mind and this, with this white jacket and the stethoscope and uh, remember what they and we remember what they told us, but unfortunately we must pop up a different figure saying they haven't learned this. They haven't learned this. All they learn is. Symptoms, medication, and and fear, mm. and fear, Absolutely. and and and, and you risking and the risk and the, have you ever discussed the risk of taking medication? Have you ever discussed with a person the risk of not ever getting healthy from hypertension? Nobody gets. I mean, when you go with hypertension to a physician, and he's giving you a medication and he's talking about the risk from not taking the medication, he's not talking about the risk of taking the medication. That's that's a big red light for us. We know there is medi there, we know there is risk in in not addressing the cause. Right. Yeah. There is a massive risk. Yes. So that that should be. I mean, if you still have some sense in your brain, you can't forget that. I mean, even though they're wearing the white jacket, even though they've learned four years in medicine, even though they have the authority to write prescriptions yes. and do things to people and 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 scare them and dominate them, and I mean, in the old days, doctors, you know, we have a lot of stories about doctors, what the, the power they have that we gave them to, but we we have to keep our sense balance. on balance, and we have to remember they 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 they're not even telling us the truth if they're trying to minimize. I've heard it many times that uh, drug pushers, drug pushers that, that wrote books and came, you know, whistleblowers that came and, 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 and told the story of what's going on in pharmaceutical companies. They are trained to minimize risks and to expand like crazy just the benefits. Mm. So this is conspiracy. It's nothing else. It's, if you train, if you know you have a product that is dangerous, you know it's dangerous, and your job is to try to discard, to, to distract the physician from talking and discussing the safety of the medication, and just to try to push him to talk about the benefits of it. You are immoral person. It's happening in every pharmacy. It's happening in every drug. Uh, company, it's happening in every surgery when they're having or conferences when they're having a new drug coming. This is their job. They are salespersons. They are salespeople. We have to remember that. Are we want to be victims? Are we want to be subject of the pharmaceutical companies and bad educations? I'm not blaming the doctors. I, well, in a way, I, I do feel that if you see something happening over and over and over again, you see someone comes to you with medication and and you see that they you know they're getting sicker and sicker and you're adding another tablet and another tablet and to deal with these adverse reaction and this one to deal if you're not you know if you if you have some sense in your brain and you have some love and care for people you, you should start asking questions what's going on here i mean we have the best technology ever we don't have scarcity in the world. We, we, we know we have food, we have clean water, we everything. have we have everything. It's not like in the old days where people were dying like flies, not because of vaccines and medication. They were dying like flies because they didn't have water and access for food, and they, they, they were in completely poverty and they didn't have heating and they didn't have houses. These these are the reason why people didn't survive to older sorry, age. Sorry, sorry. What is the relevance?